hello guys global studio here today for your autocad tips and tricks in this video we will learn about how to measure the total length of the multiple lines or shapes guys this is going to be one of the very important video for all the autocad learners out there please concentrate and watch the video fully so that you can save 90 percent of the time to measure the multiple lines or shapes Basically, I use this tool in my irrigation or pipeline design because in irrigation design, there will be multiple lines and it's in huge quantity so that you can't measure each lines individually. Uh, so I basically figured out this method. Basically, you have to use two or three commands to measure the total length of the lines or shapes. Any shapes or any lines you can measure. Basically, I want to measure a line in this drawing as an example. I want to measure this purple line. So, without any delay, we will go into one live example. I want to measure a purple line over here because there is a lot of lines over here like cyan color, yellow color, black color and purple color. I see purple colors are more here. So, I want to measure a purple line. Now, I selected one line here. As you can see, this layer is panels 201. I want to select all the panel 201 layer here. Just right click here and go to quick select and then select entire drawing and then select multiple. And then in properties, you have to select layer and then in the value section, you have to select the layer name. The name is panel 201. Select this name and click OK. As you can see, all the layers are selected now. Just copy this layer and keep it outside. As you can see, I copied it outside here. Now, all you have to do is measure the total length of these lines. Basically, there is one plugin for AutoCAD. It is called Total Length. That is a Lisp file. I will tell you how to download that file from Google in the next video. But before that, I will show how to measure the total length of these lines. I already downloaded that list file in my AutoCAD and installed it. Now all I have to do is load that list file. Just select or just type command app load. As you can see, app load command is arrived. Then click enter. Go to AutoCAD 2019 folder or wherever the file is located and go down here. As you can see, the total length list file is available. So you can see here the name Auto List Application Source. Then just click to load. It is already loaded now and close it. Now all you have to do is type TL. As you can see, TL means total length. The command is appeared here and click enter and select all this layer and then click enter. As you can see, the total length is appeared now because this is in inch right now. Uh, we want to change it to mm. I am going to explain how to change the units. Go to command and then type like I am doing dwg units click enter and then select the millimeter type 3 i need the units in decimal type 2 again i need it in decimal type 2 and then click yes 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 little bit i will zoom out little bit you can see my drawing is available here again type the command tl and click enter and then select all this layer and then enter as you can see here this total length is in mm but in meters it is 1089.583 meters guys that's all for this video i hope you guys learned this trick properly i also provided the link to download this list file from google or else you can watch the tutorial that i given in the end of this video 
also there is lots of tricks to learn in autocad that i am going to explain in my coming sessions so please stay with me and if you find this videos are helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe and like and share see you guys in the next video bye bye